Hi guys, and welcome back to More Than Cars. <laughs> oh dear, it really does make me smile. Anyway, in today's video, we are talking about, um, actually, I, you have picked me up on something that I said I would do, and I haven't done it. And I'm going to explain why, basically. So it's going to, I've said basically again. Oh! Right, anyway. So, I did say at one point I was going to buy a 30k car um, and actually I did say I would buy the old Aston Martin DBS. So, yeah, I've not done that and I kind of want to explain why. Because I think it's, I think it's right you know why and I think I've actually explained this before or I've kind of assumed there would have been some kind of linkage but obviously not all of you watch every single video if you haven't subscribed already please do so do hit that subscription button and turn on notifications because every day i do try to put out a video i know some of it's a little bit waffly but you know what listen to me when you're cooking dinner and it's trying to get you connected to my journey so you feel part of it because you, you kind of are what you're interested in also helps motivate me and drive me to what i'm interested in so right i did say i would buy a 30k car honestly yes i did um i did say i was going to do this and things changed covid came along and um it made me change the priority of what i was putting forward so there is a lot of work to be done at project two i pulled a lot of that work forward and used my own money to basically do things at the park so you know dig a two kilometer trench to put some piping in change a load of the fencing um it's it it meant that i was prioritizing or i put the money into project two rather than i don't want to say wasting it on a 30k car because the the social media side and what you're interested in is very important to me but I, at the time, I don't, I don't need any more cars, and this is obviously part of why I've sold the the two SV and the Pista. Because we, as a business, yes, we, and I'm not complaining. This, please don't take this as a as a complaint. I'm merely telling you, business frame of mind. Obviously, year on year, we have grown as a company. We, we've grown really well. We've taken on more clients. We've got more money coming in. Therefore, I can use more money to invest in the cars as part of project two and the social media side as well as project two itself we obviously haven't done that this year because of covid so we haven't we've done very well out of our existing customers because we've done projects early but we haven't grown so i chose rather than putting it into a car that honestly will feature what 40 videos on the channel what i'm not being funny at the size we are at the moment YouTube does not make any form of money. It is not designed as a money mechanism. It's designed to get my story out there so you feel connected, so you come and visit Project 2. And I can gain um, what you guys are interested in to make sure that is incorporated at, oh, sorry, incorporated at Project 2. So, yeah, basically I haven't done that because I don't want to, sp well, I haven't got the money anymore. I've spent it at Project 2 to make that site better for when you eventually come. I also said I'd buy an Aston Martin DBS, the old one. Yeah, I really would. But because of COVID, I've decided collecting, because I had every intention on keeping the Pista, keeping the SV, it's not, because we've not grown this year, it's not the right time for me to piling more money into cars, bearing in mind that I need to put, or I've had to use money on project two that, and we haven't grown, and the, the normal supporting business hasn't grown to support that spend. It needed me to save the money, hence the deposits and et cetera are coming out of the SV and Pista because I've got the new cars arriving. It's not the right time for me to be adding and growing a mass car collection where that when that site isn't fully operational and actually paying for itself. So yeah, unfortunately, and by the very fact that Mr. JWW went out there and bought a DBS, so I feel that is not been, I really want one, I really would like to have, and don't get me wrong, I'm just making sure it's not right, that's better. Um, I am going to eventually buy a DBS because I would like, and this DBS is going nowhere, this is my everyday car that I use all the time, um, but 
I, I'd eventually like one, but just right now isn't the time of year. Hopefully within the next 12 months, we're back in a position where we're growing. Project 2 is up and functioning in the sense of actually bringing an income in. Therefore, we can use um, part of that to offset about buying the 30K car. And in the grand scheme of things, 30K isn't the largest sum of money. And please take that in context when you're considering everything else that we're buying and doing. So, sorry, I, I do have to apologize about that. It is not the right time for me to be buying a 30K car right now. That's why even possibly the Signet and the GT8 will go when the others come, or come to fruition because I don't want to be continually growing car collection when that site isn't as operational as I would have liked because of what happened this year. So I'm trying to be a little bit more sensible. Now, most of you might go, well, why the hell have you just bought a helicopter? Well, <laughs> I do take that point. And I think somebody commented the other day, why don't you just buy a cheap car and pile up and down the motorway? And it, 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 it's not the expense necessarily of the helicopter. I, I, I'm needed in London because we are a growing market in the London area. I need to be visiting London more frequently. And equally, I we've got things going in our personal lives and I've alluded to this a fair few times of why we visit Devon. It's actually time, it's saving the time in traveling that is far more cost effective for me to buy a helicopter. A, not pulling silly miles on these cars, but it's, it's the time element. The biggest thing is the time element. And helicopters are not like cars. They don't depreciate in the same way. Long as you uh, continue maintenance and parts get replaced when they either time out or yearly expire, I've got 12 years worth of use out of that helicopter. I can have it, as long as I save, I think it's about 200 quid per hour of use, what is honestly cheap when using a helicopter. If you think what well, this thing's depreciated uh, even in a year, um, I, that thing will pay for itself and I will be able to do the overhaul on it, put it back to effectively brand new and sell it for potentially even more than I paid for it. So a helicopter is not actually a silly purchase whatsoever considering the time and the benefits it's going to deliver to the main company, meaning I can facilitate a meeting in London one day and then be back at the um, Project 2 the next without having to spend, what, eight hours on a motorway. So it makes a hell of a lot of sense. So yes, I'm really sorry that the 30K car and the old DBS Superleggera are not coming to the channel. And bearing in mind, I'm still keeping a little pot of cash to one side because if I do find a 918 that fits my specifications, obviously it's very difficult. I'm trying this year to be slightly more sensible. Now I, I say sensible in context because obviously I have bought a brand new DBX, a brand new FH Tributo and an, uh, the unmentioned car that is arriving. If I'd have known COVID, I clearly wouldn't have ordered some of those. That's why I've changed the mindset. Some of my existing cars are going to go so that I can fund those three cars and that those cars will not be leaving my garage up until the point, well, actually, I don't want them to leave, one might leave the garage, but up until the point where Project 2 is working and I'm back in a position where I can continue to grow the car collection rather than, um, Chop and changing every year. Chop and changing every year is very, very expensive. That's why I'm not just adding more to the collection. I don't want any more on finance. There's no need for me to do that. It's, that's not a beneficial thing at the moment, considering Project 2 is not operational. I hope that all kind of makes sense. I know I've, I, I can't put facts and figures on it. Don't get me wrong. I can stick a spreadsheet off that has my kind of I don't want to say business plan, it's a very rough business plan in the sense of what's going out, what I'm expecting to come in, what we usually do each month and know what I'm kind of trying to push towards. Covid has thrown the biggest spanner in all of this that's possible so I'm just trying to be a little bit more sensible and get me in a position to push forward for the future. What I think we are doing, we're doing very well considering the current climate and I'm not complaining. I'm just merely trying to give an explanation of why something that I said I would do hasn't been done yet. And that's probably the biggest thing. 
I will do it. I, 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 everything that I say I will do, I end up doing. It might not take me the time frame that I've said, but everything in life that I've said, I will set myself a goal and I will achieve. Uh, I have done to date. So watch this space. Please stay tuned for the overall journey that is kind of more than cars, project two, the IT company, the firework company, everything else. Uh, and I'm trying on a daily basis to give you a little bit more insight into my life and the journey because I appreciate driving to work every morning, seeing this same kind of picture probably isn't that entertaining. This time of year, it is very difficult for me. It's the, it is the peak of our year. It's the return of the majority of our customers who we look after and it is the peak busy season. So I can't carry a camera with me all the time, but I'm doing my best to explain the life, explain some of the reasoning why I haven't done some of the things that I said I would do. But inevitably over the next six months, I'm trying to um, hold the camera out a bit more, show you a bit more of what's going on, the direction, so you feel more involved, feel part of this journey, and hopefully it's a more realistic um, YouTube channel. This is not one that is going to just show you the glitz and the glamour all the time, or oh, I've been taken on this press trip, this is the new blah, 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 this is the new that. It is merely a chap who's working reasonably hard to try and achieve some goals whilst creating something that hopefully will be a legacy that will get I'm hoping tens of thousands of people involved and interested in in creating this car community in the Midlands because it's sharing my passion and making something that is um, yeah potentially a legacy so I, I hope that explains it and I, I'm, I'm obviously picking up on some comments that of where's this where's that I, I hope that you are taking this all with a little bit of pinch and salt in the sense of, you know, I haven't got millions of pounds sat in a bank waiting to do absolutely anything with. No other person other than me funds any of this at the moment. You know, none of this is sponsored. None of, I have no form of external funding other than myself. So please take this in the context that it's meant in. I'm not moaning at the people who made the comments. I'm just trying to explain why some of the things that I've said I would do haven't been done quite yet. They will be done. Don't you worry, I will do them because I'm in the wrong lane again. I do that most mornings. Thank you very much, Mr. Porsche Driver. I do apologize about that. Um, I'm just trying to explain some of the things that I said I would do. I haven't done. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate the, the comments, the likes, the follows. Um, do give me video suggestions. I know a couple of you have said, um, you know, do some other things. Time is of the essence at the moment. Obviously, a big the biggest other proportion of my life at the moment is building the hours to pass the helicopter lesson because that will then facilitate the move that that will then help me drive business in london but then will drive other things for this channel so it all kind of does make sense i'm just doing my best to find the amount of hours in the day to fit everything in so yeah i hope i hope all that makes sense i really do enjoy this doing this i really do hope you're enjoying following this journey so on that note Thank you very, very much for watching. Please do get in the comments, hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying this journey. Uh, do give this channel a follow and do share it to your friends. If, anybody, if you think anybody else would enjoy this content and equally, if you follow me on Instagram, PhilDixon89, or if you have an Instagram and don't follow me, or if you just fancy sharing some of my YouTube content to on your Instagram platform and say, hey, if you haven't heard of this guy, please do. It's about growing this community. More we get together, more it will drive what I'm doing, what will drive everything and the wheel, wheels will begin to turn. So anyway, uh, that's enough waffle for me. Please do have a fantastic evening or day or morning or whenever you choose to watch this video. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another waffly content probably might be a flying affiliate video i don't know depends what i can fit in today so thank you once again have a good day see you later guys take care